<laughs> okay. <laughs> Hi guys. Uh, Mother's Day is coming up and I decided I was gonna make macarons for my mom. The kind that you can buy 12 of for like 40 bucks. So this is gonna seem like a really cool gift and also it involves beer, which is awesome. Uh, the first thing we're gonna need is 150 grams of almond flour. Now the reason why I'm saying grams is because I'm weighing these ingredients instead of measuring them in cups because you need to be pretty exact in this recipe. I'm gonna be putting these into the food processor. 150 grams of almond flour, 150 grams of powdered sugar, and I'm going to process that so it gets nice and fine. A minute or two. I'm doing this instead of sifting. Okay, this is what it should look like. It should be nice and fine and no big lumps. I'm just gonna put this right into the bowl. So the next thing I'm gonna do is make, the next, next thing I'm gonna do, the next thing I'm gonna do, the next thing I'm gonna do here is I'm going to add egg whites to this mixture, 55 grams. I am actually going to add the color at this stage. I wanna do pink, this is my mom's favorite color. I think she's gonna love it. Also, I'm kind of matching what's on this SPF bottle. I think it's a beautiful color. So I'm using gel food coloring. I actually add a little bit more than you would think at this stage because we're also gonna be adding a white meringue to this and it's gonna lighten the color a little bit. So, one, two, three, let's call it four. I'm gonna stir this up. So you're, you're stirring the food coloring into the egg whites so you don't get big streaky colors if you just added it to the flour. Okay, that's what it should look like. I'm just gonna pour it into this mixture. This is where the elbow grease comes in. Seems like not very much wet ingredients for dry ingredients. But before you know it, you'll have kind of a thick almond paste. Do, 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 do. Okay, so that's looking good. This is what you want. Kind of a nice, bendy, pasty kind of consistency. So the next thing we're going to do is build the meringue. The first thing we're gonna do is add 150 grams of sugar. Again, we weighed it instead of measuring it in a cup. And 35 grams of water. Doesn't seem like a lot. We're gonna bring this up basically to a candy temperature. It needs to get up to exactly 244 degrees Fahrenheit in order to create the stability in the meringue that we're gonna need. So while this starts, Heating up, we're gonna add another 55 grams of egg whites to our KitchenAid mixer. And we're gonna start slowly beating those. We're gonna start with a slow to medium speed. And I'd say put this at about a medium heat. It's also a good time to have a little beer. That's good, it's gonna be great in this macaron. This is not a time to take a phone call. The syrup's getting really close. The egg whites are starting to form peaks. 240, 241. Come on, 244, here we are. Okay, I'm going to slowly pour this down the side. It's starting to get really nice and glossy. You know this is done when you'll start to get like nice and soft peaks with this too when you pull the whisk out. We're gonna test it in just a second. Okay, we have our Italian meringue and we have our almond paste. Now what we need to do is combine these two things. We need to do this in three stages. I'm gonna add a third of this meringue right into our almond mixture. And we're gonna fold it, which is kind of hard at first. We just wanna mix this as much as we can, get it good and incorporated before we add more. Now you're gonna feel the burn but it's worth it, I promise you. Okay, this is looking good. I'm gonna add some more meringue. Next third. Again, in the French method, you'd be worried about how much you were stirring this. You'd be worried about, am I whipping out all of the air? Whew. Gosh, that's tough. tough, that's hard work. And we're gonna add this last bit of meringue. Get it all, you worked for it. And now, we're gonna stir this until it gets to a certain texture. We want ribbons. It's becoming a little easier. 
and mix, and two, and three, and four, and mix, and feel the burn. Okay, so this is making a nice ribbon. And more importantly, you can see it holding its shape for about 10 seconds before it melts into the rest of the batter. So I think we're ready to go. So now I'm going to put this meringue almond mixture into a piping bag that I fitted with a round tip, piping tip, round tip, pastry tip, round tip. I use a pint glass because it kind of helps when you don't have any friends. There's no one here to help you. It's a little messy. Let's stick with it. So this is the part that I get nervous about. Um, it's actually a lot easier than it seems, but we're just going to be piping circles onto sheet pan that I've lined with parchment paper. And actually, you don't have to get any fancy Silpat molds or anything like that. You can just Google macaron template and print it out yourself. And I just printed out four of them and I put them underneath the parchment paper. I can still see it. The key is to go completely vertical when you're piping or else your macaron shells can be wonky. Pipe. Boom! Stop the insanity. So the next most important step is to slam these on the counter as hard as you can because we want to get the air bubbles out of them. See how some air bubbles popped out? Okay. So we have them out. We are going to let these rest now for 15 minutes to half an hour. What we want to happen is for a film to kind of develop over these so that when you touch it, you won't have something like that happen. So let's have them rest and then we'll make the buttercream filling in the meantime. Macaron! <laughs> We're gonna make <clears throat> buttercream filling. It's gonna be good. Hello. First, we're going to start with room temperature butter, two cups. Just gonna get it nice and fluffy. So I'm slowly gonna add powdered sugar to this. This is the base of any good buttercream frosting. So here's where it gets interesting. We're gonna to start to flavor this now. I have passion fruit pulp here with no sugar added. It's just really acidic and super tropical fruity. This is about two tablespoons. Oh, it smells so good. I'm also gonna add some Saison passion fruit. Another two or three tablespoons. This is normally where you would add heavy cream. I'm gonna make sure you're checking the consistency too because we're gonna be piping this through a bag onto the macaron shells. You don't wanna break your buttercream. And here we have it. Saison passion fruit buttercream filling for our macarons. Perfect, nice and sweet. Perfect amount of tropical fruitiness. And the beer adds a little bit of dryness and balance to the super sweet icing. It's gonna be perfect. So these macaron shells have been resting for about 20 minutes and they formed a nice film over the top and I'll show you what that looks like. So they're set, now we're gonna put them in the oven, 300 degrees, I have convection, but if you don't, it might be about 16 minutes. I'm gonna put them in for 12 minutes. Hey Siri, set timer for 12 minutes. Thank you. Oh, these are perfect. And by perfect, I mean each one is perfect in an individual way. Aww. We have a nice shiny top, and then what you see around the edges and on the side are called the feet. Um, that is exactly what you want in a macaron. What we're gonna do now is slide these off with a sheet pan so they can completely cool, and then we'll be ready to fill them. So the rule of thumb is to let these cool for about 15 minutes, 20 minutes, or as I say, one beer length. <laughs> So what I'm gonna do, because these are not all perfect, is I'm gonna find ones that match each other the most in size, and I'm going to pipe some of the buttercream in and make them like little burgers. 
gonna put a little more buttercream than you'd think. That looks like too much, am I right? But, check this out. Boom, this is the perfect macaron. All right, let's make a couple more. I messed this one up. Mm, that's good. You can taste the SPF. Ah, oh, this is perfect. Your mom's gonna love you even more than she already does. Recipe is down below. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and call your mother. See you next time. It's not bad for an amateur.